up so in today's video i'll be talking about social media content planning for beginners for your business so if you're interested stay tuned so the first thing we'll look into is what is content planning so when i look it up the definition that pops up is um, content planning is where you create topics to address themes, choose specific content types and tactics to address the goals and audience to address your goals and audience's preferences, and then put it all into your editorial calendar. So basically, you're just creating content for your audience and you push it out to all your social media platforms that you choose to be on. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to target is the who. Who are you targeting? Who do you want to see your Instagram post? Who are you trying to push it out to? Because this will just determine what kind of content you'll be pushing. So if you want to do beauty, you need to focus on people who are interested in beauty because you won't push beauty content for a gamer. Whenever you figure out the who, then this will influence the type of content that you try to create and it'll be easier for you to navigate from there. The second and like equally important part is the what what platforms do you want to promote your content onto because this will um affect like the audience that you have reached so on instagram you can reach different people than facebook and different people on tiktok also after you chose your platforms know the content that goes onto that platform so twitter is kind of like funny tweets you can post pictures and stuff it's a whole bunch of relatable stuff but you will post different content on tiktok than you would post on twitter so just know the platform so you know the type of content that you need to create just so you're reaching your audience in the most effective way on that platform the second part of the what is what goal do you want to reach what is the goal of this content that you're trying to create so for instance if you want to do like an ad that is to sell a product and some people just create content to be influencers or if you're doing like business promo that is pr to promote your brand and get your brand name out there so your goals will change over time as you achieve them so in the beginning it'll just be to promote your brand then you'll move on to actually selling the product and if you're an influencer you'll be influencing people based off of the different products if you do ads so it'll just um change over time the your goals that you have the third part is the how how do you want to implement this um the content that you'll be creating um do you want to do videos like how are you trying to go about it pictures all pictures all videos all stories all reels and obviously you need like a variety of content and also you want to go ahead and get like a schedule do you want to do it on a weekly basis a monthly basis a day-to-day -day basis it just all depends on your lifestyle so go ahead and choose how you want to push that content out to your audience the final part will be the wait. So if you're beginning like me, you will have to wait and see how your audience reacts to the content that you're putting out or like the times that they're most present on this different social media platforms that you choose just so that you know when to post to get the most effective effective results um on instagram it'll tell you you need a certain amount of followers and then also a certain amount of days until they can give you like the most accurate feedback but on your instagram post it'll have like insights where you could look and see who's shared um your content that you post who saved it who's liked it how many views you've had and i'll get into the different types of um social media platforms that i'll be using to push um the brand out so i'll use the higher company as an example for all of these steps for the who who do i want to reach um for this brand we'll obviously want to reach people who like candles who like soaps it gets more technical than just that and there's tons of videos on um your target your target audience or your target market is somewhere like calculated so i won't get into too much detail into this video about that but you could go ahead and find tons of other videos on your target audience just so that you're creating the right content to reach those people the second part is what platforms so for the higher company i chose facebook instagram and tiktok those all reach different um sorts of people if you're like me you're not a social media um person or you don't really like post on social media you could do what I did. I connected my Instagram and the Facebook together. And whenever I post, I check um, posts to Facebook as well, just so that the same posts that show up on the Instagram feed shows up on the Facebook feed. So it kills two, bird, two birds with one stone. And that's just less work for me to do. Obviously, when I utilize different features like reels on Instagram, 
that's reaching a different target audience. So I just post that on Instagram alone. And then I take TikToks and it. it's kind of like the same as Reels. So I'll usually, whatever I post on TikTok, I just copy it over to, to Reels. Cause different people are on TikTok than people on Instagram using Instagram Reels. Also TikTok and Instagram reaches, like it pushes your brand more to people who don't follow you because you'll always be, if you use TikTok, you know, like you'll always be just scrolling through the For You page, just looking at anybody's, um, video even if you don't follow them and it's the same thing with reels so for the past couple days that i've been utilizing like for the past couple days since we've launched um like our page or like announced it and the website page i realized once posting tiktoks and reels that is to reach way more <laughs> that it's to reach way more people than the regular feed posts. So um, in this week, while y'all plan with me, you will see me implementing a lot more reels and TikToks just to get um, the brand out there to a larger audience. Also, the current goal for all the posts that I'm putting out right now is to get the brand out there. It's not even to sell the products because the website isn't up. So all I'm trying to do is push the brand out there, show products being used, um, just a little behind the scenes on how the business is run because people like like an insight into your life or even an insight into the brand that they'll be supporting so that's um, some stuff that I'll be implementing into the post that I'll be posting this week and then how do I want to do this so I'm gonna do it on a weekly basis like I'll plan it out on a weekly basis because social media changes so much there's a different trend every week even every day like if you're on TikTok, you know like last week it was the busted challenge this week is the silhouette like so you just you don't want to plan I know I see some people plan like on a month to month basis but it changes so much that if you plan out to like if you plan on a month to month basis you won't get to like you miss out on certain challenges certain viral stuff so i just plan on a weekly basis and even that could be kind of too long based on how quickly like social media changes and then obviously after i've posted all of these um pieces of content i just have to wait and see how my audience react to it so if they react positively then i keep doing it and try to implement new things and see if they like it or if they don't like it and if after i've implemented all of these um content pieces and they don't like it or they don't respond how i would like them to respond then i'll need to in incorporate different um content and just switch out the old for the new content also since this is a beginner content planning video I won't be utilizing um, apps such as like Plannerly or later because they're in app costs. I'll have to pay just to see how um, it'll look when it automatically uploads on a scheduled basis for me. So I'll show y'all how I did it because even as a beginner or like you're just starting up your business, you're watching money and you don't want to put money into everything like as you're starting out. So if you're way like later into your business you'll have more stuff to do and then then that's when you could go ahead and implement like these paid platforms where you could have your content automatically uploaded so now that i've told y'all what i'll be doing the steps that i'll be taking now we'll get into the portion of the video where you'll be planning my weekly content with me all right y'all so the first thing you're going to want to do is write out the dates that you'll be posting on so as you can see here i have january 31st which is today until the 6th of february then you're also going to want to go ahead and write out each social media platform that you'll be using so as you can see i have tiktok real instagram and facebook then i went ahead and specified each um type of content that i want to post on these platforms so first on january 31st which is today you see that i have a screen record of um how to subscribe to the hayako.com's website and then i have i'll post that same tiktok on reel and then i'm going to post an aesthetic home um, picture from pinterest as you can see i don't have a piece of content for each social media platform on each day that's just because I didn't want to overkill but I have enough content just so I could stay consistent enough also with the captions I come up with those on the spot because I feel like it's more organic when I do that as opposed to creating them beforehand 
And remember, whenever you do post, don't forget to utilize um, as many hashtags as possible, but keep them relevant to your post just so that you attract the right um, audience. Here I'm just creating the screen record, showing people how they can subscribe to the Haya Company's website so that they could be notified whenever we do launch the website. And this will be posted on TikTok and Instagram Reel. Then I head over to Pinterest looking for inspirational quotes that people could relate to. And this will also be posted on Instagram feed and Facebook feed. Whatever content I do like, I go ahead and save it to my photos so that I can use it for later. And here are some of the quotes that I chose. I then follow the same process with looking for an aesthetic living room or an aesthetic bathroom, just that I could use captions like, who doesn't love a clean living room where you can burn a candle, or who wouldn't want to take a nice hot shower in this beautiful bathroom. And I of course use this as an opportunity to promote the Haya Company's products. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope I helped you in so much. I hope you learned something. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.